YouTube. Uh, this is Justin coming back at another episode of uh, Making Unusual Animal Art. Uh, happy belated New Year. I've uh, just been busy the last couple of weeks uh, kind of getting into some other things, uh, collecting Star Wars figures again. And uh, took a trip out to New York and went to Museum of Modern Art, which was, uh, that was a blast. Um, so anyway, just uh, welcome back everybody. I'm trying to get back into doing some regular episodes talking about art and uh, making uh, unusual art. Today I'd just like to briefly talk to you about uh, oil, oil paint. Now that's primarily what I paint with is oil paint. Just going to talk to you about some basics of oil paint, talk about the ingredients in the modern tube of oil paint, some of the grades of oil paint, and some of the brands um, that you, you can find uh, commonly in stores. Um, first of all, we'll get started on a little bit of uh, basic history about oil painting in the tube, the metal tube. Um, it was developed probably in the late 1860s and that allowed uh, Impressionism to take off because you could take your oil paint and uh, your supplies out into the field and that became very popular. Uh, painter Monet did a lot of that. Uh, he was an early proponent of Impressionism. And then later you see, of course, Van Gogh, um, a post-Impressionist, but uh, also one that really did a lot for plein air painting, uh, going out in the field and uh, painting with the modern metal oil paint tube. So the ingredients that one will find typically in a tube of oil paint, three main ingredients, the pigment, see right there, the oil, and the filler. The more expensive types of paint will have more pigment. That's the coloring agent. That's what makes the colors. Uh, that's what makes the, uh, you know, the paint come alive is the pigment. That's the coloring agent. Then you have oil. Typically that's linseed oil. You can also see poppy oil, poppy seed oil, and sometimes uh, walnut oil. And then, of course, filler. That's the um, ingredients that fill up the remaining tube of paint. Typically the cheaper brands will have more filler. That's probably maybe like chalky substances. I'm not exactly sure the chemical makeup of uh, fillers, but typically the cheaper brands will have more filler and less pigment. The oil content uh, varies um, between the types of paint. Um, I don't know the exact uh, oil content depending on whether it's uh, intermediate um, or premium or basic paints. Um, but anyway, that's the basics of the ingredients that one will find in a tube of oil paint. And then grading, um, grading oil paint uh, based on quality. I like to use three grades, premium, intermediate, and basic. And I rate paint based on um, based on these categories based on what you're going to pay at a typical art store. Premium, more expensive, quite a bit more expensive, intermediate, somewhere in the middle, and basic. Um, I don't really like to use the term student. I think that's, um, I think we're all, you know, students. I think we're all here to learn new things about painting and art and, um, you know, why we do it and what's our motivation and the joy that we get out of it. Um, so anyway, uh, those are the grading um, grades that I use, premium, intermediate, basic. And finally, I'll just talk to you briefly about some brands. These are some typical brands that you're going to find. This list is not exhaustive. I've used all these paints. I've used a lot of different brands of paint um, in the last seven or eight years since I've been painting. So anyway, you've got some basic brands here. You've got Winton, basic level. Um, and I actually don't have a picture of Winton, but I have a picture of Academy that's made by Grumbacher. And Classico is made by Marmary. And those are typically your basic brands. And then intermediate, you're going to see Rembrandt. That's made by Talons. That's a Dutch company. And then Gamblin is an American company from Portland, Oregon. And you have Senele. That's a big company in France. They've been making lots and lots of different colors since the late 1860s. And I should be on track to go to Paris this spring. So I'm excited about that. Get my passport in order. 
And then lastly, the more premium brands, you're going to see Old Holland. That's from Holland. Very expensive paint, very thick. And then you also have blocks. Don't have a tube of that currently, but that's a small coloring house, color house from Belgium. They use a lot of poppy seed oil. And then finally, Williamsburg. Um, I was out in New York, and they're actually based out of uh, Williamsburg, New York. And they were recently bought out by Golden, which is a big company that sells acrylic paints. And some of their paints are mid-priced, but again, some of their stuff's more expensive. So they're semi-premium, Williamsburg. And then there's some other companies, of course, that are expensive, um, more so. Um, but I can't think of those other companies. But again, Old Holland and Blocks are, are premium for sure. So guys, uh, hope this was helpful. Um, this is just a really brief overview of oil painting. What's the ingredients of an oil paint? Tube, the grating, uh, how you rate the paint quality, and then just some typical brands. I've used probably 15, 20 brands, but I just listed, you know, about nine here. And you can find oil paint locally. You can find it um, through the internet resources and um, there's a, just a lot of ways to get oil paint today with the resources we have. So guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm hoping to do some more painting and um, get back into it. I know that there's been kind of this, uh, I don't know, this uh, downtime, so I'm just getting back into it and I uh, look forward to more episodes and some new painting. Thanks.